Hi, my name is Gabby Keenitz, and I'm a librarian at Cumberland County Public Library at the Headquarters Branch. And today I'm going to talk to you about a special exhibit that we have at the headquarters at the um, local and state history room. This military exhibit we have is comprised of copies of letters that people have lent us from our staff members and also from the community abroad and their letters that were saved by people from different time periods and different wars, um, World War I all the way to the present day. And so they, they reflect the sort of feelings and um, experiences that people both at home and those who were in service at those time periods um, were experiencing. And so I think it'll help people who are um, it will interest people who, who are in service now and they'll realize that there are some of the sort of similar uh, emotions and experiences that they're having and then also it will um, make them understand, you know, the, the historic time periods that people were experiencing and, and a lot of the same sort of emotions and events that were occurring. I think people will be surprised when they read the letters and realize that no matter what time period they're looking at from these different letters, whether it's World War I or the Korean War or Vietnam or even the more recent wars, that there's a lot of the same experiences and particularly the same feelings. And there's feelings of, of loss, um, particularly loss of connection and um, wanting to communicate and you know sometimes you read in these letters about you know they're they'll be sad because they haven't had a letter in ages and then all of a sudden they get five or six letters at the same time and so there's there's definitely that sense of you know being apart and missing people and then you know there's all the little day-to-day -day things that people write to each other things that happen at home and then things that happen to those people who are in service so um, those are really interesting so we have more than just letters on exhibit we also have um, three-dimensional objects so um, things like there's a, a chaplain's kit for um, in the field and so people don't get a chance to see those very often and it's kind of amazing to see how portable it is because you know it is intended to go um, sort of you know to do everything from jump out of airplanes to you know off the back of a truck and so we also have letters challenge medals um, photographs, um, little bits of memorabilia that service members sometimes pick up, like um, there's Iraqi money that um, people collected because, you know, as they're traveling through. And, and then there are some other branches of the service that people might be interested in that they might not know so much about, such as the wax and the wasps. And I'm not going to tell you what the wax and the wasps are because uh, I think you should come to the library and find that out for yourself. I look forward to having people come to the library and check out this new exhibit. And also we're going to have upcoming military history programming throughout the year until November. So be sure to check our web page or to call in or look for our calendar and then you can be updated on our upcoming programs and events. And there's more than just the headquarters branch, so feel free to go to any of our other branches throughout the Cumberland County region.